Hi there Scorpios, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at December 21st through December 27. And this is one of those weeks when there is a lot happening. We have the Sun moving into Capricorn, the last uh, change the Sun will make for 2015. We have a supermoon in Cancer, your fellow water sign, the sign of the mother. And Uranus, the planet of the unexpected, finally moves direct after being on, you know, holiday for five months. So let's start with the sun. The sun moves into Capricorn, joining up with Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking. Transiting your third house of communication, short travel, siblings and neighbours. So if you don't have plans for the holidays, you could get a call from a neighbor, from a sibling, and they invite you to something last minute, but very, very much in time for you in a way. Even though you like to know what you're doing and where you're going and who you'll be sitting next to because you're a fixed stubborn sign, the spontaneity of it will actually be quite exciting for you. And you must say yes, you must go. This is because of the supermoon. The supermoon is being assisted by Neptune, the planet of spirituality, of dreams, of fantasies. If you're single, it's a great supermoon to meet somebody under the light of, and that's on the 25th. Anyone born under the sign of Cancer, Pisces, or even another Scorpio is somebody that you will click with and that you'll feel at peace with. And if there's something you need to get off your mind and get advice about, Capricorns are a great match for you. So it's a really good week for you. And it's a week where you can let your guard down a little bit because sometimes, you know, you, that what they say, the Scorpio is protective and private and doesn't give away very much. And that is all true for most Scorpios. But every now and again, if you open up, and open up to someone you trust, maybe even like a stranger that you know you'll never see again, you can say things that you might not have said to anybody and get an, get a, get an opinion back which you'd never thought of because sometimes strangers who don't know you and don't know the other people you're talking about or the situation will give you really good advice. And, you know, it's just I always feel like it's an angel who's come along and sat next to you in a cafe or on the bus or on the train or, or on an aeroplane. And while you may be trapped next to that person, you don't necessarily have to talk about personal stuff. But if you do and if you find that you're really opening up and sharing with that person, there's a reason for that. And you should just let it go because it's a wonderful time this week with that super moon in your spiritual and philosophy and higher learning zone for you to learn a lot about yourself and the way you tick and what makes you happy what makes you sad what makes you glad and how you can go into 2016 with some fresh knowledge have a wonderful week scorpios great speaking to you i look forward to speaking to you again next week check out my 2016 review on video online and be kind to yourself.